You know, there is nothing like a crock pot. But there are dishes that we can slow cook in a Dutch oven on top of our stove. And I want to share with y'all one of my mama's recipes that she just cooked perfectly every time. And that's a Swiss steak. I'm going to start with about a pound and a half of cubed round steak. So I'm going to cut this into serving size pieces. You don't have to be particular about cutting it with the grain or, or against the grain. You know, you just, like I said, want to cut it into serving size pieces. Now I'm just going to season this with a little pepper and a little salt. You want to make sure you season it up good. All right, now I'm just going to toss this into my flour, give it a little crust, you know, and plus the excess flour from my steak is going to kind of thicken our gravy. All right, now I've got my, my cast iron Dutch oven heating up, and I'm going to be putting a little oil in that, but before I do that, I want to get me some bell pepper and onion sliced up to go in this pot. I'm just going to cut it in strips. I'm not going to dice it up because I want you to be able to see that bell pepper in that dish when you go to dip it up and put it on top of your rice. Mm, I want you to see it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my garlic cloves. I'm just going to smash those just like that. And that'll help get that flavor released out of those. All right. And then our onion. And I like a lot of onion in mine. This is a smaller onion that I had this morning. I'd probably use two of these. All right, we're just going to pedal it. Once again, we don't want it cut so fine that we can't see it. All right, so that's ready to go in our pot. Now I'm going to come on over here and I'm going to put about a third of a cup of oil. We don't need a lot. While we're waiting on our pot to heat up, I'm going to run over here to the sink real quick, like don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm just going to wash the goop off my hands. Okay. And here we go. Let's drop our meat in quickly. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I'm going to just brown this on all sides, and it won't take long. I don't have to cook it until it's totally done because we're going to slow cook it after I've browned it off. So all we want to do is get a nice little brown edge to it. We make this dish all the time at the Lady and Sons. Oh, and people just love it. I mean, they love it. All right, our steak is browning. And I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to add, what the heck? I think, I, <laughs> I think I'll put a tablespoon of butter in it just because I saw the butter sitting back here. <laughs> Can't resist it. All right. Now I'm going to just let it just sit there for a minute while I sear off the onions and the bell peppers. And I told you that doesn't have to be all the way done. All right. All right. In with our fresh garlic. So now I just want to run those peppers and onions around in that wonderful drippings that have accumulated down there from the flour on the steak. Mmm. All righty. All right, now I'm just going to pour my steak back on top of my onions 
and my peppers. And look at all that wonderful stock coming out of that steak. All right, now I'm gonna take a can of just plain diced tomato. All right, and I'm gonna use probably a can of water. Oh, doesn't that look good? I'm gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna put it on low and I'm gonna let it simmer probably for about an hour and a half or two hours. But I'm gonna come check on it and I'm gonna test that meat using a fork. And when it's good and tender, our Swiss steak is ready. And I have just stirred up my mother's Swiss steak and it's cooking along, it looks fabulous. Thank mm -hmm. you.